How is it going boys? I'm here with another Vancouver Canucks Legends GM mode. We are back with the playoffs. So let's go ahead and take a look at Winnipeg. We need to figure out what exactly we're going up against. And honestly, I don't think this should be too big of a matchup for us. But you know what? We can't take them lightly. I always say that. I always say uh, nothing's given to you. Can't take anybody lightly. And uh, th this is one of the reasons right here. Ilya Kovalchuk, 97 points, 58 goals during the regular season. He's an offensive juggernaut. If he was on our team, he would easily have over 110 points. Like if we swapped him and Marion Orsaw, easily over 110 points. So he can definitely deliver on the offensive side. But defensively, I don't know how good he will be. I know his defensive stats there are pretty good, but he's only a plus 14 so I think as a whole, the team wasn't very good defensively. Uh, but the first line, they did all right. Uh, Nikolai Ehlers, I also believe, was on that first line just based on points. And then also Logan Brown on that line. I don't like center power forwards. And he was just that. So I don't know how their first line will do compared to ours. Ours is definitely the best offensive line in the game. I easily think ours is better than theirs. But I, I don't know how good defensively this line will be because I mean Ilya Kovalchuk has the stats to be good defensively uh, Nikolai Ehlers not so much and Logan Brown again not so much uh, going down the list Scott Kosmachuk is developed into a pretty nice player I'd rather see him on that first line I think than Ehlers uh, only if they had a playmaking center but they don't so he's on the second line him and Adam Lowry and Blake Wheeler Ooh, that's a pretty defensive uh, defensively minded second line because, I mean, none of them are great defensively. They're all pretty good. Uh, Two-way forwards and power forwards, so not too bad there. Axel Bloomquist, uh, Michael Spachek, and Marco Dano. That's that's a pretty decent third line, I'd say. I still think ours is better. Uh, Devante smith -Pelly, uh Karaku is their top defenseman. Uh, Michael Lada, and then uh, Kopaka, Jack Kopaka. He was also on their... Oh, maybe he wasn't on the fourth line, but... I don't know. They uh, they got a pretty decently deep team. Uh, nothing really stands out to me except for Kovalchuk. I think overall we are a better team. Uh, they got Connor Carrick, uh, Rasmus Anderson, Josh Morrissey, Ian Cole, uh, Tumu Lumala, and Kevin Gravel. So their defense they don't have they don't have much. Their best defenseman is Connor Carrick. So we should have a pretty easy, easy time scoring on him, but who knows how this is going to go. Eric Comrie looks like he's their starting goalie uh, with John Gillies backing him up. Uh, they're basically the same goalie. So uh, I do think we will be facing uh, Comrie in the playoffs just because he got majority of the starts in the regular season. But, I mean, they're basically the same goalie. I honestly think Gillies a little, is a little bit better just because that athletic category it goes up with him. So I don't know exactly. No. But let's go ahead and take a look at the lines. We can really see how exactly we match up against them. Like I said, I think we got the better team. Just the stats themselves show it. So, I don't know. It should be a really good, really good series, especially going up against Ilya Kolachuk. But I think we are just a much better team, in my opinion. And yes, the first line of Ehlers, Brown, Kolachuk, Wheeler, Lowry, Kosmachuk. Even with Kosmachuk on the second line. We have two wingers that are that are better than him. I, I really do think that uh, we have a better line in every single line. Even with Dano on that fourth line. Uh, we'll take a look at ours in a second here. But our, our defense is much better. And I believe our goalies... Our, our goalie is way better than Comrie. So, uh, taking a look at their uh, starting lines. That fourth line, how does it compare to ours? I think ours overall is better defensively. Even though the stars may not say it, you look at the individual stats there. Uh, we're a pretty good team defensively on this fourth line. So I think we have every single one of our lines is better than theirs. Uh, we should win this win this series in four to five games. So let's go ahead and jump right into game one. We're here in Vancouver. We got the uh, we got home ice advantage throughout the playoffs. Hopefully we don't have the President's Trophy curse this year. We did last year and we got knocked out in the second round. I don't think we will in this year, but who knows? First period of game one. Here we go. Okay, Josh Morrissey scores on Nettle Kovic. Just as I was talking shit about their defense, they come out and uh, get a goal on us. 
You gotta come out with more shots in the second period. Come on, boys. Second period. Oh, Bloomkist and Wheeler. Oh, my God. They make it a 3 nothing game, but Bossy cuts the lead to 2. That's what I'm talking about, talking about, boys. Nothing will come easy. Come on. Third period. Nothing comes easy. They're not a terrible team. They made the playoffs for a reason. Kuznetsov, he gets a goal for us. Uh, nothing comes easy. We uh, we definitely have to hold our own here. Mike Bossy with the second of the game ties it up. That's what I'd like to see. They can definitely hold their own, like I was saying. Uh, nothing comes easy, but power play, and we can't capitalize on that opportunity. Hopefully, we can get a goal before overtime, and it looks like we're going into overtime here. We're finally out shooting them, which is really what I like to see, so... All right, getting into overtime now. Come on, boys. We just need one. Just need one. I don't care who. Just somebody score. They got a power play. Come on, kill it off. Well, who's taking a five-minute penalty in overtime? Come on, boys. Oh, my goodness. Our terrible penalty kill kills off a five-minute major. All right, come on, boys. We just need one. Just need one. And it looks like we're... Oh, my God. Scott Stevens with 35 seconds left. I was just about to say we're going into double overtime, but he ends the game. We win it 4-3 to three after not looking very impressive in the first couple periods. There was are your three stars there. I honestly didn't think we'd win. Uh, we didn't look at very impressive at all, uh, but we're still, we're still able to scratch out a victory. All right, come on. Game two, boys. Here we go. We beat them in game one. Yeah, it took almost four entire periods. We just need to come out with more intensity early on in this game. First period. All right, zero to zero. We had seven more shots than them, so looking good, but still unable to beat Comrie. Here we go. Second period, still zero to zero. Heavily out shooting them. Come on, third period. They got a power play. Way to kill it off, boys. Come on. All right, come on. We got more than double shots. And Jenkins, he gets a goal. Wow. Oh, but Blake Wheeler ties it up. My goodness. Come on. We're heavily out shooting them right now. We got 20 more shots. Oh, my God. How have we not scored again? And Michael Lada. My goodness. Passing out with Kovic. 2-1 to one power play. Come on, boys. Come on. We got the best power play in the game. And we can't manage to score. And we lose 2-1. to one. We lose 2-1. to one. Double the amount of shots. Double. If we still can't get the victory. Eric Comrie with a 39 save game. Oh my god. Come on boys, that's ridiculous. Losing on your home ice. <sighs> it's ridiculous. We shouldn't have lost that game, but you know what? It happened. We have to get over that. We just need a rebound and come back in game three. In Winnipeg. Alright, come on boys. We are in Winnipeg. Got, they got the, uh, the whiteout going on right now. I know they have great fans, but we need to get past that. Come on. First period. There we go. Barshi and Case. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see. Second period. Come on, boys. There we go. Scott Stevens pass Eric Comrie. Come on, boys. Third period. Can we keep this up? I'd like to get one more power play. And we can't score there. Oh, Bloomquist. He gets a goal from Winnipeg. Can we shut him? Oh, Adam Lowry. Come on, boys. Do not collapse right now. Do not give up one more goal. I want one more. We need an insurance marker right now. Come on. Just get one more. Come on, boys. Oh, my goodness. Come on. There we go. We win it 3-2. to two. Another one-goal game in this series. Had a little collapse there in the third period, but Scott Stevens with the game-winning goal there. All right, game four, still in Winnipeg. Uh, let's go to the scouting assignment, I guess. There we go. Uh, dude, uh, no, we've already done defense in W. Uh, why don't we do defense in the uh, OHL for two weeks? There we go. All right, so it looks like our AHL team made the playoffs too. Uh, the Utica Comets made the playoffs. So and you see there, they're taking on the Albany Devils in the first round. All right, but bigger and more important game. Game four, if we can get the victory here, I think it'll be a uh, uh, serious clinching game. Like, uh, they won't have a chance. They'll be kind of uh, mentally defeated. So right now for them, this is a must-win game. We need to come out even stronger than they're going to come out. Come on, boys. First period. All right, Wayne Gretzky and Schoenburn, they give us a 2 nothing lead, but Logan Brown, he gets a goal past Nedeljkovic. 14 to 5 in shots. Oh my goodness. We uh 
We're out shooting him, but our defense needs to step up. Come on, boys. We had the best defense during the regular season. Where, where'd that go? It's time for the playoffs. It seems like our defense has completely gone away. Come on, boys. Second period. Oh, my God. Scott Stevens, then Ilya Kovalchuk, and Logan Brown with his second to tie it up at three. This is what I'm talking about, boys. It's 14 to 25 in shots. They have 14, and they've scored three times. I don't know if this is Nedeljkovic's fault or the defense's fault or whatever, but you guys need to step it up. I mean, we can't be giving up three goals in a game. We're not going to win if we do that. I know we have the best offense. We average almost four goals per game, but we never gave up on average more than three goals per game. This is ridiculous, boys. You need to step it up. Come on, third period. They're, they're playing their hearts off. Oh my God, Logan Brown with the hat trick. They're playing their hearts out right now. Try, oh my god, Blake Wheeler, it's 5-3 to three now. They're trying their best not to be eliminated. Wayne Gretzky and Marion Orsaw with a quick one to tie it up. <sighs> Breathe some life back into Vancouver here now. It's 5-5, five to five. come on, power play. They're playing their asses off, trying not to get eliminated. We need to come out with the same intensity, boys, and we're going into overtime. All right, all right, Logan Brown has a hat trick. That's absolutely ridiculous. What happened to the defense on the first line? I know uh, Orsaw and Gretzky, you guys each have goals. Uh, Scott Stevens has a goal. And uh, Gretzky you got, actually got two. But I mean, what happened to the defense? You're just not playing defense. That first line has three goals on you. Four. If Blake Wheeler's on the first line, I believe. That's ridiculous. Come on, boys. Overtime. We're still out shooting them. Put more pucks in the net. And I know we'll beat them. And Ilya Cole. God, Ilya Kolachuk, 6-5 is the final score. It's ridiculous, boys. Absolutely ridiculous. Their first line dominated us. Absolutely dominated. That's ridiculous. All right, so the series is tied 2-2. Two two. Every game has been a one-goal game. Oh, my God. The series is tied at 2. Game 5, we are here in Vancouver. Come on, boys. Come on. All right, first period. All right, 0-0. Zero to zero. 16 to 7 in shots. We were heavily out shooting them. Why can we not get a goal pass them? We were the best offensive team. Come on. Second period. All right, Luke Green. He gets a goal pass. Eric Comrie. 17 to 27. We have 10 more shots in them. 10 more shots. We should at least have two goals by now. Come on. Third period, boys. You guys have been having third period collapse. Kuznets off, that's what I like to see. Third period collapses in the past couple games. I don't want to see that. We need to come out strong. That's what I like to see Kuznets off a minute and a half in. He's a veteran in this league. He knows what it takes to win. He's done it before. He wants to do it again. We all need to have the same mentality in Ilya Kolachuk scores. Come on, boys. Step it up. Step it up. There we go. Two to one's the final score. Going up three to two in the series. Eric Comrie had another good game. He's stepping up for him. He's stepping up, and we we just need to come off the same intensity that they are. Come on, boys. Game six. We need to end the series right now. I do not want to go to a game seven. Bad things happen in game seven. I, I, I just don't want to deal with. Come on, boys. First period. All right. Case opens up scoring, but Blake Wheeler. Come on, boys. We need to get a couple more goals and play some goddamn defense. Especially you, Nedeljkovic. I know I'm calling you out right now. You've made four saves. Four saves in the first period. You're the best goalie in the regular season. What the hell happened to that? Come on. Second period. That's why I like to see Schellenburn and Riyad each getting goals. And Nedeljkovic steps up and only gets five saves in the period. So, no, I can't even call that stepping up. You, you got it. You got to shut him out in this third period here. Come on. Third period. I do not want to see them get a goal, Nedeljkovic. You better work your ass off. They better not score. There we go. Riyat with his second pass, Eric Comrie. Come on, boys. Help Nedeljkovic out a little bit. I know he's probably struggling a little bit, but he can't let Winnipeg score. Oh, my goodness. Ilya Kovalchuk. But Wayne Gretzky, he gets another one in. Five goals on 50 shots for us. That's... That's what we should be doing every single game. You know what, Kovic, I can't complain too much. Uh, you had a decent save percentage in that game. It was above 9, so I guess I can't complain too much. But 
our defense has got to step it up too. We, we cannot win uh, when they're scoring two, three goals on twenty-some shots. That that's absolutely ridiculous. There's no reason why they should be. Why they should be? Oh my god! All right, we got Anaheim. Anaheim in the second round. I'm not happy about that. I'm not happy whatsoever. I don't like that. I do not like that. At least we don't have to face Arizona, but I don't want to face Anaheim. I really don't. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at their stats then. The Anaheim Ducks. <sighs> Tamu Solani, 99 overall. My goodness, every offensive stat except for Deking is at 99. His defensive awareness is at 99. He's an absolute stud of a player. Every skating stat is at 99. He's very good. And you know what? He's going to he's gonna get his. We just got to try and contain him. Uh, they got Nazem Kadri. It looks like he is their first line center. So, oh my goodness. Uh, definitely our first line, I would say, is better. But oh, Jordan Subban, 59 points. I, I did not want to give this guy up. I really didn't. Uh, you guys said we should trade him. He only became a top four defenseman, but a top four defenseman that put up 59 points? Oh, my God. I would love to have that. I mean, he's not even as good as Cam Fowler or Shea Theodore. That's that's mostly from power play time, which I would have had him on anyway. But, you know, we gave him up. And, oh, God, I wish I, I, wish I could have held on to him. Nazem Kadri, uh, Solani, and Bobby Ryan, I'm guessing, is their first line. Bobby Ryan, how is he not, how is he not de started declining by now? Uh, they got Raquel, Sidorov, Sidorov, um, again, oh, God, uh, Che Theodore, I, I, the same thing I'm going to say about Winnipeg, I don't think they're that good of a team, but you know what, they're probably going to come out and, oh my God, like, Cordelis. Or however the hell you would pronounce them. Uh, like 86 overall. He's probably on the third or fourth line. I just... Uh, I don't even know. I feel like uh, I'm going to say they don't have great depth. But you know what? They're going to come out and play their asses off. Uh, John Gibson, a very good goalie. It's going to take a lot to beat him. But I know we can do it. I know we can. Uh, it's going to take a lot to beat him. But I really hope that everybody... Everybody works their asses off. And uh, then we can move on to the third round. Nashville against Calgary. And then a Winnipeg. A fucking Vancouver against Anaheim. Uh, Battle of New York in the Islanders against the Rangers. And then Ottawa against Boston. So an original six matchup there too. Alright. So, yeah. I don't really have too much else to say. Anaheim's a very good team. They've... Uh, just the culture in Anaheim is winning. They've been a good team for years. Uh, and they're going to be hard to beat. That's all I'm going to say. They have a culture of winning. It's opposite of what Vancouver's culture has been for years. But it started to recently change to winning. And we need to keep that mentality. We cannot give them anything in this series. We cannot. Come on, boys. First period of Game 1 in Vancouver... Our fans, you guys got to be loud. Create a good energy and a great atmosphere in the building and help us get the win. Come on, first period. There we go. Gretzky with a couple past Gibson. Second period. All right. Still 2 nothing. I want to score one or two more in this third period. I do not trust Anaheim on offense. Jamie McGinn gets a goal. Come on, boys. One or two in this period. That's all I want to see. One or two. And Reed Boucher scores past Seattle coach. That's what I'm talking about. They do. They can score. They made the playoffs. So they're in the second round for a reason. And we cannot just. We cannot just let them come in and score on us. Come on, boys. Oh my goodness, we're going into overtime here. All right, game one overtime. They got a power play. Come on, kill it off, boys. There we go. And Luke Green gets a goal past John Gibson. A shot from the point, and it's all over. We win 3-2. I did not want to go into overtime, but you know what? We got it done, and that's all that matters. Now we got to look at game two. We can, we can beat Anaheim. We've done it before. We'll do it again. We just need everybody here to play their asses off. And one game at a time. One game at a time. All right, boys. First period. 
All right, Case, he gets a goal. Second period. Ooh, Cordelius and Solani. I knew we couldn't. I knew we could not hold him scoreless or goalless throughout this entire series. And you know what? He cracked our defense there. They had a couple quick goals, but that didn't derail us. Wayne Gretzky ties it up at two. So come on, boys. Defense, you guys, you guys got to step up. You, you were absent in the first period. Osgood, he gets a goal. You guys were absent in the Winnipeg series. Need you guys to step up now. Scott Stevens, he gets a goal for us. Four to two is the score. This is what I'm talking about. They should not get more than two goals in a game. They should not. Doesn't matter how many shots they have. They should not get two more, more than two goals a game. And there we go. Osgood with his second, and we win it five to two. That's what I like to see, boys. That's what I like to see. That should be how we are approaching every single game. All right, we take a 2 to nothing lead. We've won both the games on our home ice. And you know what, boys? We need to take one from them on their home ice. They didn't get one from us, and that's great. But we need to take one from them. All right, I'm going to go scout defensemen in the U.S. for a week. And here we go. Game three. We are in Anaheim in Orange County. Come on, boys. I know we can beat them. Done it before. We do it again. We're up 2 nothing in the series. Come on, let's just focus on this game. We'll worry about game four when we get to it. First period. All right, Sean Burn, he hits a goal. Being outshot right now. I don't like that. Sure, it's by one shot, but come on, boys. Step it up a little bit. Second period. All right, come on. That's what I'm talking about. Still, It's tied one-to-one. -one. We we had more shots, but this is what I'm talking about. Uh, we're, we're giving up goals while not scoring. Defense, if our offense isn't there, you need to step it up even more. Our defense has been... Almost completely absent throughout the entire playoffs so far. Come on. Third period. Here we go. Offense. Step it up. There we go. Kuznetsov. He gets a goal for us. That's what I like to see. You know, our, our team. Our team has a plenty of veterans and plenty of young guys. Guys who know how to win and guys that are full of energy. So, you know what? We got a good mix of all that. And there's no reason why, uh, why Anaheim should beat us. And come on, boys. There we go. There we go. Wayne Gretzky scores a goal at the second left. 3-1 to one is the final score. Wayne Gretzky's been huge in these playoffs for us. So, uh, I, I, I don't want to say it, but you guys know what's at stake right here. If we get the win, you can take a little break before the third round. So, come on, boys. Come on. Game four. Still in Anaheim. Come on, boys. First period. All right. Barshi. He gets a goal, but Bobby Ryan ties it up. Oh my god, 11 to 4 on shots, really? Come on, step it up. I know we got a goal on... F I, I don't want to see them... I, I really don't want to see them get 11... Uh, 7 more shots than us in a period. Come on, boys. Second period. All right. You know, we, we had we had 10 shots in that period. Uh, we still were outshot that period, but they didn't get a goal, so I can't be completely upset. Luke Green gives us a 2 to 1 lead. All right, boys, third period. They don't want to be swept. And Luke Green with the second of the game. Kuznets off again. I was just going to say, boys, we need to get a quick one out there. And another, oh, God. Can we now score on the power play? Oh, my goodness. They got a power play. I was going to say they're going to come out with an intensity. We need to score early to get them out of this game because they didn't want to be swept. But you know what? We did it, boys. We're getting the sweep. We're getting out of round two real quickly. And there we go. A four to one victory. That's what I like to see. Luke Green with two goals. Nedeljkovic only gave up a goal, and Kuznetsov with a couple points. So, great job out there, boys. Great job. We got out of the series quick, and you know what? Uh, we're moving on to the third round. Uh, let's go ahead and see who we're going to face in the third round. Uh, I'm not going to take a look at their stats, but we're going up against Nashville. So, got Nashville coming up in the third round of the playoffs, so... That'll have to wait until next time, but until then, I'll see ya.